Greetings, vloggers, bloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here from Dustin Dynasty with today is Autism Acceptance Awareness Day, or just plain World Autism Day. So today I've been thinking, and yesterday I got to go to the Pennsylvania Autism Gathering uh, held by the ACERT Collaborative, where autistics and neurotypicals gathered for about an hour and a half on Zoom and uh, had a nice little discussion. We got to watch two presentations. One was from uh, Dr. Nathaniel Geyer, and one who is, of course, autistic, and one is from uh, a gentleman from the uh, Pennsylvania Health Quality Care Unit who was a therapist and discussed the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I was inspired by Dr. Geyer. Dr. Geyer, of course, like I said, being autistic, he was the creator of the maps in Pennsylvania that many people, um, you know, and, and for the whole um, Johns Hopkins project that tracks all the COVID cases. So he, he helped design the map and the metrics behind the map. He has a, a doctorate in, um, in health science and he has a, and a certificate in web uh, website design. So similar to me, but he, he also has some knowledge in uh, GIS, which is the, the map system. So, you know, it was really um, helpful to know that he has a lot of knowledge in that area. He also shared some knowledge on regard to, um, you know, how, how we as autistics have certain issues that may not be necessarily aware, like um, digestion issues, issues with driving. He particularly um, spoke of driving for a little bit because of many autistics do not drive. And, um, you know, for me, I don't necessarily drive all the time, but, you know, he understand, he ex, ex, extended on how the pressure is of driving and how we need certain adaptations to drive and how to drive and, you know, what, what, why we don't recognize things as opposed to other people. Um, so, yeah, so like it was just, it was very eye opening that he had a doctorate and in very similar fields that I was interested in. Yet, yet, and he does drive, but yet it was so, so uplifting. And so, you know, that, that, that the world doesn't necessarily stop at an associate degree. And he had been going to school for 20 years, although he's a little older than I am. He has been going to school for 20 years just to get where he's at. And, you know, you know, that's, that says a lot. I mean, you have, to, you know, he didn't, and he has more, I would say he has more, he's more challenged than I am, but you know, he, 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 he comes across very well. And, you know, he, you know, you never want to let your challenges down. And I want to make sure that, that that's made aware of in, on this uh, vlog is that, um, you know, you know, no matter what, you know, challenges autism throws at us, just never, you know, never, never stop fighting. Um, as many know, I've shared on my, uh, so on my, uh, at least Facebook and Instagram at this moment, um, about two years ago about me getting an award at my day program. And now that award, and it's been two years and we've taken a step backward and we're now going forward again, but you know, it shows that, you know, my mom, like my mom had said, you know, it doesn't show how much you, it shows that you never give up on your dreams. And I don't, I don't give up on my dreams. Sometimes it could be a little hard to, um, you know, to, uh, to control or to manage at a time, or, you know, sometimes we don't know what all works up in the brain. So yeah, it's just kind of like that. And, you know, just take it one day at a time. That's all I can tell you, especially now we're in pandemic world. I just want to say, take it one day at a time and you'll get there. All right. Thank you for listening to this vlog. Um, as always, uh, like, follow, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us on the web at DustinsDynastyUSA.com. Thank you.